and welcome to another episode of Faith World TV Music. My name is Mary Alison Nomo and we have an awesome show for you today. Our guest on today's show is a talented London-based gospel artist, TV presenter and music director. She has spent most of her early career in ministry singing in choirs and as a worship leader. She was a member of the British Gospel Arts Choir which later went on to sing at the very first BBC Gospel Proms in 2013 and took third place at BBC Last Choir Standing in 2014. She is classically trained and has performed at festivals of music and arts in Blackheath, Bromley and Seven Oaks winning laurels and taking first place in Sacred Songs at Seven Oaks in 2013 and 2014. She has also set up and runs Joyful Sound Gospel Community Choir in her local area. Currently, she hosts a gospel show on Faith World TV, Atmosphere for Worship, and is passionate about reaching the world with the Word of God through her music and raising people who truly worship God in spirit and in truth. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the amazing Tina Divine. Hi, Tina. Oh, hello, Mary. Hi, lovely to have you on set today. Thank you for taking the time to be with us today. And it's amazing to be here. Thank you for the invite. You look beautiful. Amazing. I love the pink, the wow. gold. It's wonderful. Thank you to God be all the glory. Amen. You don't look bad yourself. Oh. You look so elegant. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Tina, you are a trained microbiologist and an anesthetic practitioner. Yes. But let's go back to the very beginning. How did you get into singing? Well... Um, I would say I started singing from a very tender age, Good. say um, about seven years old. Mm -hmm. At home, my mom would always buy the latest records that were on the market. Oh, amazing. And every Sunday evening, that was family time for us. Mm -hmm. So we'd play the records mm -hmm. on the gramophone. Yeah. You can imagine far oh, back. Oh, I remember yes. that one as well. My dad had one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we'd play the records and it's either you sit down and listen or you get up and dance. Mm -hmm. So mom and dad would dance, we kids would dance. And at, at some point, I went beyond dancing to listening to the words of the song. Yes. yes. And I went after that, I now started singing those songs because I'd learned the words mm. of the song and mm -hmm. started singing. Mm -hmm. And um, it just carried on from there. Yeah. I would go to school yeah. during school break. Yeah. I would tell everyone, come around, come and listen to the latest song. <laughs> and um, if it was Michael Jackson or Bonnie M, mm -hmm. anything that was raining then, mm -hmm. I would sing it. Mm -hmm. And that was my first stage. I would just climb up on any mountable structure in the wow, playground wow. and then I'd have people around me <laughs> cheering me on and I'd sing and dance to my heart's content and if there was a dance routine yeah then my big sister would come and we'd do the dance together together wow so you're a natural born performer yes and and, and a leader as well yes wow awesome so all these experiences were preparing you for standing before thousands and leading worship and, and I didn't you know, know at the time amazing okay. amazing Amazing, but that's how our, our God works. Yes. So moving from that, from being, you know, doing that as a child, then coming to the Lord and then beginning to lead worship in church, yes. how was that experience for you? So um, I, I came to the knowledge of Christ at a very tender age, oh, right beautiful. off secondary school, because um, I was born here in the UK, so yeah. I did my early years here. Right. And then my parents took me um, towards the end of my primary education to Nigeria. Good. So we could have a feel of home and learn our culture. Wow, that's amazing. So I went back there and we continued singing in the yard this time around we'd <laughs> set up a mini concert in the yard on our veranda mm. we'd have the music booming from inside and then we'd be doing our yeah, usual routine. antique singing and dance <laughs> so I would sing and then my sister and my young brother would dance yeah so I after secondary school um just before I went into university mm. I gave my life to Christ I actually Glory gave my God. life to Christ when I was um in uh, trying to secure admission mm. into the university, mm -hmm. um, a friend of mine invited me for um, for a conference. All right. it, was a fellowship. it was a big conference, okay. and uh, I had the ama such an amazing experience. But I won't go into that because that would take so much of yeah. your time. <laughs> um, so, so I got born again, and I came home and joined my friend's church. Beautiful. So when I went in, you know. It was a lovely environment. I was asked to stay behind, and mm. the pastor then, he was quite young. He, he wanted to know um, 
all about my background mm. and um, how I, I got to know about their church. Mm. Um, so to cut the story short, he asked me what I liked doing. And I said, well, I like reading yeah. and I like singing. singing. I can sing anything. <laughs> and he said, OK, so what sort of uh, music do you like? What sort of songs do you sing? And I said, oh, I can sing anything by Michael Jackson, um, um, yeah, Barry White, you know, might your parents all, the, all, the, popular, you yeah, all yeah. the popular musicians of the day. Mm -hmm. you know I would say oh I'd love to listen to their music and I can sing anything and he was like okay so well now things are gonna change a bit so yeah. you've come to the knowledge of the Lord so you might not want to be singing secular music mm -hmm. you might want to be thinking about singing Christian Actually, music yeah. and luckily for me my church was um, um, a church that laid emphasis on Christian contemporary worship Beautiful. Far back then. So Beautiful. it was all about integrity worship, mm. Ron Canoli, oh, yeah. Don Muen, yeah. Darling Check. So he gave me my first K set. Oh, not CD. Yes, I remember those. So he gave yes. me my first K set, <laughs> and that was, I think I remember it was titled The Mighty God yes. by the Maranatha Singers. Oh, yes. Yeah. And my Amazing sister said, singers, yeah. you know, there was a particular song I used to sing on that K set, and my sister said, Anytime she hears that song, mm. she gets so angry because I would sing it over and over, <laughs> <laughs> over again. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so I devoured that case set yeah. for within days, and I yeah. went back and I said, "You've have you got another one? I finished learning all the songs on that. That's beautiful, you know." And so, so, so you love you love singing. I can see yes. it's it's in your it's in your heart, it's in your spirit, it's in your it blood. Is. But then um, you are also classically trained. So I say from contemporary Christian and then into classical. How did you get into that side of, you know, music? Yeah, so um, I think um, God was preparing me because the classical aspect came later on, mm. right? So uh, I've gone from circular singing everything. Yeah. And I've now gone to Christian contemporary. At this time, I wasn't singing traditional um, African traditional African, music because I right. found that a little bit difficult, but I learned that one along the way. Yeah, and it's beautiful. You know, it's also being amazing. a music director, I had to learn that. <laughs> but I would always look for opportunities to um, learn more about music mm. in Christendom. Great. You know, because I always had this thought that. Does, do I always have to sing just in church? Mm. Is there no other room mm. outside church mm. where I could minister the word of God in song yes. and touch hearts? Amen. So I began to look for different things I could do because I was getting bored, you yeah. know, same old, same old praise, worship, <laughs> offering and all that, you know. Yeah. And I would like delve into areas and mm. see what I could gain. Yeah. So I would attend a lot of music conferences. Like I used to, one of the conferences I used to attend was um, Kingdom Renewal by Noel oh, Robinson. Oh, yeah, Noel Robinson, yeah. Yeah, yes. I used we to. Did, we hosted him and he did share yeah, I, I, about I watched, that conference. Yeah, I watched yes. that program. I was like, wow, he's one of my spiritual mentors, in quotes. Oh, so anyway, yes, true. Um, I would go for his conference. I would go for Israel Houghton's mm. conference. In actually, when she came, I went for her conference. Mm -hmm. I was just looking for ways to do other things, learn other things. So I decided I felt, I'm here in the UK. Mm -hmm. I need to have some sort of training. Yeah. I can't miss the opportunity. <laughs> this is the place to get everything that yes, you want to get. It's a land of opportunity, Musically. isn't it? Yes. You know, because I'd watch people on telly, how did they get into that? How did she get into that? Mm -hmm. How did she get that opportunity? Mm -hmm. You know, so I started looking around, um, just went on Google and started looking for courses I could do. And then I found one in my local um, adult education centre, um, a singing notation course. Mm -hmm. So I signed up for that and then I told my pastor, I said, Pastor, I want to go, um, I want to go for this training. Yeah. Um, would the church sponsor me? Okay. Um, whatever I learn, I will bring it back to the worship team That's and um, teach thought. them as well. Yes. You know, and um, so I went. Then I didn't know that the song, the, the, the course that I signed up for was classical. <laughs> You know, but it was like um, I was going to learn music notation, yeah. you know, a mm. bit of that. Mm. Um, so I went in for the course and I remember the teacher, she saw me because I think I was odd. <laughs> I looked odd. <laughs> so. not, the, not the type that they see. Yeah, things. so yeah. she was like, she said, oh, I don't know why some people have come here. I don't know whether this course is really going to be <laughs> the best thing for them, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and I saw everyone carrying manuscripts of music, yeah. scores of music. And I was like, oh my God. 
<laughs> so I get into this place. But you're here anyway. But so. I'm here anyway. So I said to her, oh, are we supposed to come with music, with our music scores? Because I don't have any. And she said, okay, just go <laughs> to that folder and see if there's anything that you can, that you can, can read, <laughs> read and use. So luckily for me, she has some popular music. Yeah. She has some popular music. So I saw Stevie Wonder's um, oh, song. Um, yeah. um, um, I can't remember which one it was, yeah. but the song is flying around in my head. But anyway, I, I saw one by Stevie Wonder and I saw one by Michael Jackson, We Are The World. So I did that. Mm -hmm. So I read that off the score, yeah. you know. Beautiful. So that was a start. But I felt I didn't want to do popular. I wanted to do what every other person was doing. Yeah. So I came, when I went home, I now started searching for Christian classical pieces that's the way that's the yeah. way I, I typed it in yeah and then what came up was sacred songs sacred songs yeah so when i started playing some of them mm -hmm. i i could see that this is something i could do or this was something that yeah. i could do and yeah. i picked up one or two pieces and i now printed them out mm -hmm. and brought them to class the next time yeah and i showed them to the tutor and she was like where did you get this music from i said beautiful. i found searching for it beautiful she said oh that she'd never heard this piece of music before but it was so beautiful it wasn't like it wasn't opera as in opera mm -hmm. but it was beautiful sacred songs, songs. and everything was based on scripture beautiful. the first one i did was the beatitudes it was oh, yeah. so beautiful yeah, you know beautiful and she encouraged me um to go and um participate in local festivals of music and arts yes so she sent me to blackheath yeah so i went to the blackheath festival that year and um i competed in the class of sacred songs and um, i was given a certificate that says satisfactory awesome Awesome. So that was the first step. Yeah. And then the next year, I went to Bromley um, Festival of Music and Arts. Yeah. And um, I took second position Beautiful. in that class. I, yeah. this, this time I did a sacred song and I did an aria. Ooh. Oh, don't ask me what you mean. <laughs> I don't know. So I did an aria. So I took second position and then I got a medal awesome. as well. So awesome. I was so happy. Awesome. I was so happy. And then that same year, and the following year, I went to Seven Oaks Festival of Music and Arts, yeah. and um, I took first position awesome. in the class, oh, wow. Sacred Songs. So I took first position that year, and I came back the next year and defended my title. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, you know? You're such a, you know, you're very, very enterprising, very hardworking, very diligent. Beautiful. So you host uh, a program here on Faith World TV. Yes, I do. Atmosphere for Worship. For Worship. And that's your ministry as well. That's my ministry. Can you tell us about this ministry and it, the, you know, the ethos behind it. So, you know, as I always say, mm -hmm. I'm always looking for what to do outside the box. Yeah. So I remember after Sunday service um, one day, I was just sitting, you know, in the choir section mm. and um, I was like thinking, so what next? <laughs> what next? <laughs> Sunday that is worship. beautiful. I, I like the fact that you're not complacent. Yeah. You know? You're keeping on you're, you're keeping on moving, changing, using the gifts that God has That's given it. you. Because beautiful. you know, I, I think God had invested so much in me. Yeah. And I felt that my gifts and my talents weren't being used the way fully. they could be or Amen. being utilized fully Amen. you know and um it, 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 I, it was just i it was such a bother to me because mm -hmm. i felt like i know i can do this and i can do that but where is the opportunity yes, yeah. you know where do i go mm -hmm. you know to make use of those talents mm -hmm. you know it was like i was just using a certain aspect of like you know i, I told you yeah. i had to learn how to sing traditional music yeah. because of the environment I now found myself I was leading worship um, co-leading worship in that church mm -hmm. uh, managing the the team with my other um, colleague in ministry and I had to obviously le learn the way they sing yeah. and I enjoy it yeah. because it made me really appreciate traditional music yeah and it's and very rich yeah yeah but at the same time uh, I now found <laughs> myself limited yeah. you know in what I could do because there wasn't that same level of understanding mm -hmm. you know yeah so, so would you say that because you didn't have the opportunity you created one i think so you know, with that I, I would like with to i would like to say yeah, that, that yeah. that's a, and that's the thing that i want to encourage people that sometimes yes uh, artists or worship leaders you feel very limited in the area that you're yes. in but you know and you're looking for one pulpit and another opportunity that's create it. one that is create it create one that is it 
and, and that's what you've done here yes and and, and i just want to chip in something yeah. before i now go on and say okay. the other thing i want to say okay. <laughs> you know um sometimes you might not be understood yeah. you know because god has put so many things inside you mm -hmm. but the people that are around you mm -hmm. might not understand and it, they don't understand not because they don't like you or they don't appreciate the gift in you the thing is that because they have not reached that level they yes. may not have understanding okay. of the content mm -hmm. that is within you yes so don't feel put out mm. or people shouldn't feel put out because they're not being understood or mm -hmm. their graces are not being seen yes ask god to open awesome. up a new horizon awesome. for you awesome. and you know like when I remember when we met, mm. was it two years ago? Yes, it was uh, no, two was years it? ago. Yeah, I think it was two years ago. Yeah. I asked you one or two questions. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Right and out yes, yeah. right <laughs> out there. And I acted on those questions. Mm. And you know, the answers that you gave me mm -hmm. have contributed to where I am oh, today. I'm glad. Praise the you Lord see? for that. So oh, this yeah. is it because I was asking questions because I wasn't being told anything. You know, sometimes. Yeah. I don't want to come across as being, um, I don't know the way to put it. Let me not just use that <laughs> word, you know. But, you know, the thing is, for me, I found that as a lady, mm. there were a lot of limitations, mm. you know. Mm. I would say that our, our men are business-minded. Very logical. Very logical. But, yeah. you know, we're, we're submissive in nature, so we're used to being told okay. what, what to do. do. And if people are not telling you, mm. then you sort of simply don't know. Okay. You know? So that's when the asking of that's questions So, so you now have in. to be bold enough to yeah. ask, but well, not everyone is bold enough to ask. Mm. True. You know? Yeah. So, but I, like, I ask questions, I asked you, and mm. I've been asking <laughs> questions all everywhere. the way. <laughs> and Amen. God has been opening um, new horizons for me. So... I was sitting down in that little corner of the choir mm. section mm. and I was like, oh, so what next? What next? We've done this. We've done our anniversary. We've done our seven hours of praise. <laughs> We've done our tarry night. So what next? Yeah. You know, but one thing I will say is that um, in my local church, um, we would sing. That was an opportunity for me to like harness Christian contemporary worship. Mm -hmm. So I, I was in charge of praise worship and because I knew that everybody could sing traditional so well right. and we were lacking in the area of Christian contemporary worship yeah, yeah. then that was a focus for me okay. build our Christian contemporary worship mm -hmm. and then the church loved hymns yes beautiful so that was good you know when they said oh um, you can also look after the hymns yeah. you know and I was like well are you you, you, you just <laughs> giving me an opportunity <laughs> you know yeah. so that was where the classical Side, to side you now was being utilized. Was now being utilized. Beautiful. So I was very happy. Beautiful. I was able to revamp yeah. everything about hymns in my local church. Beautiful. And you actually, know? yeah, that's you know, if you like, let's you know, jump to your EPs actually, because yes. there's a classical part, yes, and we're yes. going to actually watch that. <laughs> However, could we just quickly talk about your EPs? So you have your first EP, Nobody Like You, Lord, yes. the medley, yes. and then your second EP, Set a Fire. So quickly, could you tell us about the two EPs? Okay, so what yeah. I'm going to tell you now is yeah. how the EPs came to be. Awesome. Because when I started out, mm -hmm. they weren't supposed to be EPs. All right. They were actually supposed to be content for Atmosphere for Worship. Oh, yeah. Because you, if you remember the first episodes of Ap Atmosphere for Worship, I would come out and just sing. Yes, I remember. But I knew that we needed a bit more. Amen. So that was where, because it's, it's a worship ministry, mm. you know, um, in my home church, or from my home church in Nigeria, um, I am a licensed minister of worship. Okay. So that means that in your area of ministry, you mm. are anointed to mm. minister to the people of God yes. as the Lord leads you. Amen, amen. And the foundation I was given was that worship is not that part of the service, mm. you know, that generates a warmth mm. or entertainment. Let's just warm the environment with some songs. Mm, yeah. We were taught that worship belongs to God. Of course. It it's the whole is. lot of man. Yes. You know, yeah. to worship him, that's why we were created. Yes. So that section of the service mm -hmm. is for God. And God alone. And God alone. Yeah. He is the audience, mm -hmm. not the people. We're leading them. We're yeah. saying to them, come on, we're going into the Holy of Holies. Amen. And this Amen. is the way we are going. Amen. So my way today, mm -hmm. 
may be different from your way tomorrow, but it doesn't matter because we've all got different faces and different talents. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, we are taking, leading the congregation yes. to worship the King of Kings and yeah. the Lord of Lords. Amen. Yes. Amen. So worship, that worship section is for God. Mm -hmm. It's God's unadulterated time. Mm -hmm. You're not asking him to give you the fruit of the womb, but yeah. give you that business deal, yeah. that academic yeah. opening. No. It is a time that you're laying it all down before yes, the Lord. You're adoring him. You're and adoring him. him. You're giving him the glory that, that is, is due, due his, his name. name yes. You know, and that's the time that everybody needs to be involved right from the top to the bottom. This is the time that is for God. And mm -hmm. you know what the word of God says? Mm -hmm. He inhabits the, the praises, praises of his of people. His people. Sure. You know, in the time in the in the Bible times, the ministers of worship would sing mm -hmm. And the glory cloud would come down yes. such that the priests were not able to yes. stand and One minister Chronicles the word. Five. Yes. Do you see? Beautiful. So that time belongs to God. And when mm -hmm. God inhabits our praises, mm -hmm. things begin to happen. That's he knows our God. needs. Yes. True. He knows our True. needs. True. So he comes and he releases. Mm -hmm. He begins to release mm -hmm. graces, gifts, fruit so of the womb. You created the atmosphere. You create the atmosphere. For worship. So that's Beautiful. what atmosphere of worship is all about. Yes. Because um, in the New Testament, we are told if anyone has a psalm, mm -hmm. has a hymn, hymn yes. has an exhortation, bring, bring it, it so that the body might be blessed. Amen. So that's what happens in atmosphere Amen. for worship. That's why you see me, I will share a bit of the word. Because yes. growing up as a worship leader in my home church in Nigeria, mm -hmm. Living Word Ministries, I must always give a shout out to mm -hmm. Living Word Ministries <laughs> because that's where I attended the school of worship. That's Good. where I was licensed in ministry. Yes. It gave we you a great foundation. That's it. We yes. were taught that if you're coming out to minister in worship mm -hmm. or praise, mm -hmm. you have to have a theme. Mm -hmm. So you need to go into the presence of God and say, Lord, what do you want me to tell the people as we worship? Yes, true. So when we come out to worship, we, God could give you a song that um, focuses on healing. Yeah. Or a song that focuses on deliverance mm -hmm. or a song that focuses on encouragement yes. or simply praise mm -hmm. and then you build your songs around that theme, theme with yes. other similar songs that uh, are similar in in a message and in tempo and in beat because it, oh it has to blend yes. then if you yes. want to join a song that doesn't blend then you sort of stop and then you do a salah you say something and then you you jump into mm -hmm. the next song mm -hmm. so it's all about the holistic package of worship. Mm -hmm. So you can come out and, and, and say a word. I just want you to join me and lift your eyes to the hills because that's where our help for, comes yes. from. Our help comes from the one who oh, made Tina. the heavens and the earth. <laughs> Tina, I, I, I wish we had so much more time. I know. But guys, this is all that we've had time for. Please, you can watch Tina on Faith World TV atmosphere for worship i know you'll be thoroughly blessed as well her eps nobody like you lord and set a fire as well yes. please download them on all digital platforms and now we are going to watch one of the songs one of the medleys yes. on set a fire more love stroke how great thou art yes. i know that you'll be blessed uh tina Say bye bye to our audience, to our viewers. Thank you for watching. It's been lovely sharing this moment with you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you some other time. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So yes, uh, be blessed, and we'll see you next time.
Faith World TV Music.